if you feel two minutes. Are the intro crew ready? Can we check if the orchestra is ready, please? We have a 40 lantern in the ballroom. Can we get somebody on that as soon as possible? Okay, just waiting for a go from Cairo. Do we have anybody in the webinar? No. They've gone too. Alright, okay, no problem. One minute. Break a leg, everybody. Positions, please. Performance 237, beginning in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Administración, yo no renuncié cuando se dio la inundación. Yo no lo renuncié cuando me resignaron a el espectacularmente peligroso departamento sin entrenamiento. Cuando me rompí el tobillo. Pero una vez escribiendo todas estas cosas, estoy empezando a realizar que debí de haber renunciado antes. No estoy en favor de la acción industrial, pero pensando en ello, creo que el Departamento de Salud y Seguridad literalmente prendiera en llamas el día anterior después de que se estableciera quizás renunciar era necesario mm. ok entonces este lugar se inundó y quién se ay dios qué desastre suena eso One second, please. Hold, hold your first position. There's somebody at the door. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, one second. Can we get a precise location on the player, please? There's two of them. Right. Okay. Hi. So this is this is so this is a bit um this is a bit awkward. I think it's probably best if we're just really honest with each other. It's uh, it, yeah, it's 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 a bit awkward. Um. The thing is, the game you've just downloaded, somebody is playing it right now, so you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't play it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is quite inconvenient. I don't know, I don't know why this keeps happening. Sorry, we're generally quite organised. You should come inside, I'll explain. Uh, just through here. Here's the thing. The game's live, which makes it impossible to to insert you. And also, it's, it's, it's just quite difficult now for you to leave. But I think it's okay. I, 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 I know I, I know what to do. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and call publicity and liaisons and we should be able to take you to the green room. All right? If you just wait here, uh, and, yeah, we'll be able to get you in. All right, let me just, let me just find the number here. Okay. It's ringing. Somebody will pick up. We're okay. We're okay. It's ringing. Uh, don't worry. Oh, they hung up. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try that again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry. I know. I know. We've both got better things to be doing with our lives. Oh, come on. Come on. Still ringing. Sorry, I'm really sorry about this. It won't be a moment. Come on, bloody, bloody publicity and liaisons. What are they? Oh, God. They're probably at some event. Don't worry, it's still ringing. Uh, maybe this is... I mean, this should be the right number. Did I do the code? I think I did the right code. Okay. Oh, I know what's going on. We've got um, something of a strike sort of situation emerging. Yeah, we've, we've become quite understaffed. Actually, 
You wouldn't um, mind doing me a favor, would you? Come, come through here. I could really, I could, I could really use your help. But if you'd rather, if you'd rather wait here, I, I could just let you know when we're ready for you. It's, it's just, you know, why miss out on this opportunity, right? Nobody has leading players. Very few players get to visit here. Administración. En la mañana recibí una nota que decía en los eventos del fuego alrededor de tu oficina te pedimos que lo ignores y que continúes trabajando como si no estuviera ahí. Me temo que no puedo seguir sus instrucciones o continuar en este ambiente. Renuncio. Y el departamento de logística 17 está en fuego. Ok. Creo que puedo entender por qué están en huelga. Nada de importancia. The thing is, our entire weather department and half the wildlife crew is just up to the left before we could even begin this morning. And it's all super simple. It's mostly buttons. You like buttons, right? And you'll be able to play the game as soon as whoever is in there at the moment is finished. Promise. Your help? Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, this way. Yeah, the lighting department's right through here. Hmm. You're spoiling some of the magic, you know. It feels a bit like cheating, but, you know, it's okay. You carry on. You do whatever you need to do. Right, first things first, could you bring up the lights? Thank you so much, because, you know, we can't have people playing in the dark. Or they'll fall over, and it, you know, they could die. See that lever? It sets the sunset off. We got the reflections in the lake looking, they're sort of great. Um, could you pull the- Ugh, you don't even know what secondary interruptive means, do you? I mean, neither do I, but you're the one who pressed it. I still need you to pull the lighting lever, though. That, that would be ideal. Yeah, just now. It's the bigger one. Could you, um, maybe not do that? Please. The lighting department spent at least an afternoon on that. They'd be really unhappy if they were, you know, still here. There it goes. Little lights blinking on in the windows of the mansion, up past the ornamental ponds. Oh, it's pretty magical, really. Okay, now we need to attack them with a the tiger. It, it, it's a heist game. The player's playing a big heist. I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it, the tiger's very important. It's in the title. All right, into wildlife preparation. Just through the door. Don't, you don't have to be alarmed. It's not, it's not a real jungle. It's just a game. It's actually, it's just a room full of, right, this is all, it's so safe. We'd usually have someone else do this, but they started striking right after one of them got. Well, that's not, I shouldn't have. Just, just pull the lever and, and let's say, Introduce the tiger to the level. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> you should pull the tiger lever. Really. Is this tiger has eaten people? Look, look. Trust me on this one. Tigers, it turns out, just aren't. They're not. They're not in love with the idea of uh, boxes. Oh Jesus! Could you? Could you please? Could you please? 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 Oh no! Oh no! Not that! Not that door. There's a. Look, there's a far more pressing concern in the room, and it's growling. There's an actual tiger in this room. An actual tiger. Like, it's about four feet away from you. So I don't want to cause alarm. But it's a tiger. out of the cage. I don't, I don't, but I, I mean, I wouldn't bet on it. Look, here's what I'll tell you. This tiger, this tiger alone has eaten at least seven human hands. Probably more. Almost definitely more. release the tiger before the recovery crew could do anything, you know? Perfect! That went perfectly. Look, the tiger's inside the level. We need to make sure it doesn't, you know, eat everybody. Could you hit the red button to send the retrieval team? Is the, is the button... I think it's by the door to the weather room. I can't leave the tiger in the level. We tried that once. I hate all the birds. And then the head of the little statue on the fountain. And then, and then Trevor. <sighs> Trevor. Look, just please press the button. Oh, they're actually meant to do it this time. The tiger's out in the level. Okay, go. They're on the move. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to work out where you're going to be most useful. I don't think we have anybody left in catwalks, do we? Oh, we do. Oh, great. Wow. Can't believe it. I guess weather control, then. The door's just over there. Oh, I hate this room. This hasn't been easy, you know. During our second performance, a pipe burst in here and flooded the whole garden level. The player got stuck on the, uh, on the roof of the summer house. All right, okay, the script calls for a storm. Let's make it rain. It's the red valve on the pipe next to the door. Gently. A lot of the story relies on there being a storm. It's, 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 a, it's a big part of Act 3. Listen, really, it's okay. Don't worry about what I told you about the flood. We've had 235 non-fatal performances since then. All right, let me be totally honest. In two performances, we had mostly underwater surprise moments, but we give everyone armbands now. No, 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 too much. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's a button below the fan that sorts out the thunder and lightning. Could you do the lightning? It's a really nice effect. It's, it really is.
Oh. It might be wired up wrong. I'm sorry. That room gets back down. Now I think about it, it might have been taken. Oh no! There it is! There it goes! You've got a picture of the building lit up by these big flashes of lightning. It's really imposing. The set's massive. Oh! Speaking of, the player has apparently entered the mansion through the orangery and is. They're gonna use the lift. Okay, that's okay. We can do this. We're right here. This way. Actually, wait, hang on a second. This is really important. Behind this door is the closest the player ever passes backstage. They'll be right behind a wall. And I don't know what the wall's made of, but I do know that it's phenomenally cheap. So, we're gonna have to be very quiet. Okay? Um, just down the steps. Yeah, that's good. That's the mansion in there. The player would have got here a little earlier, but they're, um, they're limping a bit. I'm not a button scientist, but I have a feeling that the secondary interrupted button you pressed might have might have closed the door out of the summer house on their foot. In any case, here's what we need to do. The player's going to come down the corridor and call the lift. And once the doors open and they get inside, they're going to press the down button. When that happens, all you have to do is pull the lever on this side. This lift was always supposed to power itself, obviously. This is just a hangover from rehearsals that nobody got round to replacing. Besides, it's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of time. And actually, no, wait, here he comes, here he comes. Shh, out, ice front, ice front, ice front. Wait for him. Ready? What are they doing? Why haven't they, why haven't they pressed the button? Did they hear us? Don't move. Oh, thank God, he's moving. Oh, no idea what happened there. I think, I think, I think they, they can't have heard us. I hope they didn't hear us. They probably didn't hear us. At least they're on their way now. Actually, they're going to be very busy with the vault. You could start playing in the grounds. We just need to prep some pyrotechnics for the escape sequence and then you're good to go. There's a lift to the pyro workshop up the stairs. If we could just, uh, hurry along. You're not into lifts. That's okay, I can understand that. But we really should keep moving. It's not, it's not an unpleasant lift, really. It's a, it's a good lift. Oh my god. Are you okay? Do you do you, do you still have your ankles? Are they are they in the correct uh, orientation? Okay, you're okay? You do? That's great. I'm so I'm oh god, I'm so sorry about that. I really This is well this is the weather room, isn't it? Uh right. Okay, listen. Since we can't reach the lift of Pyro, the only way back into the game is through is through a department called High Concept Miscellaneous Interactions. Oh, I didn't want to have to do this to you. There's usually a lot of training involved. But I'll talk you through it. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. You... Brace yourself. Welcome to Miscellaneous Interactions. This is the department that controls... Well, it controls a lot of things. Locks and unlocked doors, interior lights, smoke machines, telephone calls, actor cues, laser lights, vault guards, tranquilizer dart strength, you know, that kind of thing. But it's all just done with numbers. I, I don't know why. And, uh, and usually the operator's got this big... Um, you know, usually they know what they're doing, but I've got a manual here. I think we'll get through it. All right, in order to get started, you're going to want to press the number four. Just go right ahead, the number four. It should be on the left-hand side. Uh, you know, you know, you know the number four, right? It's a, you know, four. It's uh, it's like a, it's like an L shape with, with a short line through the. Um, I can't believe what am I doing here? It's like an L with a short line through the bottom bit. It's, it's a four.
Um, don't worry about that. Don't worry. That's fine. That, I think that's normal. Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I don't think that light's a, a bad sign. Uh, five, seven, two, one, two, one. Ah. Okay. So what we did there, it turns out, was the wrong thing. Could you um? Could you press nine and then four and then, and then one? Did we? Oh, I think we restarted it. It's all right. There's a page in the manual about this. Oh, I think you should probably get that. Listen, I know it's tempting to ignore problems that you've caused, but this is this is really the worst time for that. Just come on, pick up the phone. Just come on, pick up the phone. They might actually be able to help. I don't know who's calling us. I don't know, but I, I do know that when a phone rings in this room, it's a big deal. I don't know who's calling us, to be honest. All right, look, come on, answer the phone. What? What? What did you just? That could have been very important. What did you? Why did you? Ah, I, it's all right. Okay, I found the right instructions. All right, I need you to press the number nine. All right. Let's. Okay. Well, let's let's just assume that we've got nine sorted, right? Okay. Five, two, one, four, four. Wait, no. Get starter cancel that, and then a two, a six. Just ignore that. That's fine. Right. Seven, two, left. One, four. Two. Oh Christ! Please pick up the phone. Please. And talk to them this time. How can you? How can you? How is this not making you incredibly anxious? Pick up the phone. Please pick up. Oh come on! Again? Is, is there? Do you just not know how to use the phone? All right, back to the board. Hit these four numbers: two, five, nine. Oh, I guess we don't need to bother with nine. Oh. That sound that I might have told you to ignore. It turns out that it, it, that's a very bad alarm. So I'm going to need you to just do a 180. Right down the stairs, please. Right down. Probably, I'd probably go a bit further. Move. You really, you really want to move right now. Here's, here's good. Here's good. Great. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, back, back. Come on, back up the stairs. A bit faster than that, please. Just a bit, you know, just a bit faster. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Please stick with me. We've got to, we've really got to fix this. We've got to fix this. All right, don't worry, don't worry. Actually, do worry a bit. Hit seven, four, then asterisk. Is there a fire below us right now? Is there, some, is there something on fire? Oh, there is, isn't there? I don't think, really, I don't think any of this room is supposed to be on fire. Please don't do what I think you're about to do. Please don't do it. Pick up the phone and put it to your ear. Like a normal person. Like a normal person who can answer a phone. And you'll, you'll be able to talk to somebody on the other end. Really, it's, it's really easy, very easy. No! <laughs> you did. Why did you do it? Why did you do it anyway? Why? Wait. Hang on, we can we can still fix this. We can. I I need you to find a blue panel marked downpour. It's turned off, right? We found a way to activate a fail-safe lever to the left of the. Oh no, wait. On the right of the keypad. Right, not left. Don't do the left. Uh, okay. When the downpour panel lights up, I'm going to need you to pull it. When it lights up, not before. Any moment now. Did we do it? I think we did it. The players left the mansion. I think, I think we did it. I don't think it's supposed to still be raining, but you know. Hey, come back down the stairs. You're, you're done here. You don't need to spend any more time in this room. You can forget about the whole thing. This is it. You're done, sister. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. You really helped out. We couldn't have made it through without you. We really couldn't have. Through here. Here we are again. So this is how it's going to work. You go in there. Just give me a moment. I will bring the lights up. And Dr. Langstock, the tiger and the terribly cursed emerald. Enjoy it. Oh, don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Anything, trust me, anything on the other side of that door is peanuts compared to what we've just gone through. It's great though, it's, uh, it's really good. Particularly the voice work. Some of the voice work is outstanding. Please. It's really good. I can see BAFTA sniffing all over this. It's really good. It'll probably win awards. Yeah, despite everything, it's really not bad. Thank you so much. Another player? You've got to be kidding me. You, I can't, I can't do this again. Okay, this is really awkward. The fact of the matter is, wait, hang on, where are you going? Right, so look, I need to talk you. Okay, that's the lighting room. You need to talk. Okay, fine, this is wildlife prep. No, hang on, this is, that, that's a, hang on, there's a tiger in there. There's a tiger in there. That's, uh, no, don't, don't pull that. Wait, no, oh. oh God. 